All right, what's going on guys? We are back with another YouTube video and I'm excited, okay? I'm gonna be trading three pairs of shoes for one absolute banger. And this so-called banger that I'm gonna trade for is actually not even in wearable condition at all. But we'll get to that later on in the video. First, we're about to go to this little local Kansas City sneaker event and see what's up. I don't know, maybe, maybe buy some shoes, maybe not, I don't know. So let's go get into that first and then we're gonna get into the trade here in a little bit. So stay tuned, let's go. All right, so we're actually gonna take the straight Street car there instead of driving, but a little fit rundown. First off, we got Daniel Lu hat, and we got this Kanye West late registration tee. This is not a reprint. This is a legitimate late registration tee, and I know that because I paid absurd amounts of money for it. And then we got camo cargos from Minimal, and then we got the ultimate sleeper, Fire Red 3s. I don't know why people don't like this shoe. I love this shoe. Taylor Swift literally just came here last night. So the city's just been absolutely jumping recently. All the hotels are slam packed. Everything is just... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We got a random bystander confirming my statement. Oh, starting it off, Alex stepped in dog poop in his off-white UNC ones. Uh, the street car that we usually take around the city was out, so we had to take the city bus instead of just driving. We finally made it after we walked like for like an hour, dude. This took forever. Dookie Dame. What up? Low key. These are like the ultimate sleeper. I want these so bad, but I don't think they're out yet. So hopefully when they come out, they're not like crazy expensive. We selling cinnamon rolls over here too. How much are you selling these for, Loki? We'll give you one for five dollars. Right? Five dollars? Five dollars. You do two fifty? Two fifty? He's not negotiating. Bro, that's a deal. It's look. It's not even warm no more. I literally just lowballed on a cinnamon roll. I at work. Now I got a cinnamon roll for two dollars and fifty cents. This shoe right here. I bet a lot of people on YouTube don't even know what this shoe is, to be honest. When's the last time you've seen this shoe like in actual decent condition? If you know, you know. These are crazy. All right, little pro tip for you guys. Do you see the used shoes on the ground? That's where you're gonna find the deals, trust me. All right, so this is one of my favorite things about sneaker events is the trade up challenges. I know you guys have seen it. Tell them where you started and where you're at now. So I started off with a cause poster. It's just a frame poster that you put in. It was about $30 value. Now I'm at these uh, Jordan 1s. I don't know the exact the name. And these Yeezy 350s. Chill. And you started from a poster? Yes. Oh my gosh. Congrats, I'm excited. Event's gonna end soon, so I wanna see what you can pull off unless you're gonna call it there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going up. Of course, of course. All right, guys, we're leaving the event. It was kind of, it was a Kansas City event. Like, it's not like a big sneaker con crazy event. It's just a little Kansas City event. And I like to show love to the little events sometimes, whenever I can. Now, let's head back home. We're about to work out this crazy trade here. I'm so excited. I've been wanting this shoe forever. All right, before we get into this trade, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Poison. Poison is an online shopping community, and they were also one of the first companies to do the whole business model of verify before delivery, which pretty much means they verify everything thing before you get it. You can buy pretty much anything through Poison. We're talking watches, sneakers, apparel. They have brands like Nike, Louis Vuitton, Jordan, Balenciaga, everything you can think of. But you know me, I had to get the sneakers. One of the things I love about Poison is their packaging is so nice. Look at all this bubble wrap right here. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you're buying sneakers for a couple hundred dollars, 500, 600 dollars, and you end up getting them in the mail and they're all dinged up, the package is all beat up. I really like that Poison takes the time to put in bubble wrap so that you're shoes are a lot more secure. And I actually missed out on these on the drop, so I had to get them through Poison because I really needed these. One of the reasons I chose Poison to pick this pair up was because they have competitive pricing. You know, with their very strict authentication process, they have multiple steps when it comes to legit checking the shoe. With Poison, you're never gonna get a fake pair of shoes. I'm really excited I finally got these. With this 85 cut in the black and white color blocking, this shoe will literally go with everything. And also, for whatever reason, these 85 cut Jordan 1s are super, super durable. So they like don't get beat up. The reason I like Poison is because they have great prices. Their website is super easy to navigate and buying sneakers through Poison is completely hassle free. You also know that your sneakers are going to be 100% authentic. So click the link in the description below to check out Poison for yourself and let's get back to this video. All right, we're finally back. Uh, changed clothes because we walked like a mile and a half back. Like I said, we had to take the bus there because the train car thing was out, whatever. But we're back and now it's time to get into this trade, baby. All right, I know this is why you guys clicked on the video. I am trading like what? How many pairs is that? One, two, three. Three pairs of shoes? Yeah, three pairs of shoes for one pair of shoes, and the one pair is actually not even wearable. So, getting into this, you guys have probably seen this on my cameraman, uh, Big Al's page. Gigamus. Don't call me your cameraman ever again. <laughs> Let me show you what we're trading first. Here. Dude, these are bad. So, this is the first pair I'm trading, the big red boots that I rode a dirt bike in and uh, made a video on that. And then, we're trading these LA Dodgers Nike Dunk Lows. I like these a lot, but just wait. 
wait. Just wait till you see what we're getting. Sam just came out from golfing in them. Uh, and then we're trading these Travis Scott Air Force One Lows. Fortunately, I love these, but I just never wear them. I don't know why I never wear them. I just flat out just don't. I don't I don't know why. And I'm actually trading with, of course, Big Al Gigamus, whatever you guys know him by. You guys ready? I'm surprised Big Al let these go, to be honest, but in the state that they're in, it is what it is. You guys ready? The Air Yeezy ones. I wanted these so bad. I have a collection of old Kanye West tees, and this just like fits the vibe, dude. Like I'm the biggest fan of old Kanye. I don't really know about new Kanye, but old Kanye. I'm a huge fan of all the older albums. So this, I feel like was just, it was just destined. It was something that was just bound to happen. What are your thoughts? I mean, they're cool, but I am just sued. Like, they're just not working for me. I don't see myself getting them fixed. So might as well give them to someone that's actually gonna go get them fixed. So I have a chance will. Chance will enjoy them and appreciate them and actually wear them unlike me. So that's why I'm giving them a little bit of a deal on them. But I do wanna know, do you guys think this is a good trade? Do you guys think this is a bad trade? Do you think what do you guys think? Because you might say, oh, that shoe's worth way more money than the trade. But also at the same time, you have to keep in mind, these shoes have to be resold and that is not cheap. And that's also not cheap if you want them to be done right. That's a big thing. Dude, the quality's they, insane. They just those. don't make them like they used to, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that, all the Y's for Yeezy in there. Fun fact, people probably don't know this. This is actually shaped in a Y as well too. That's kind of crazy. I didn't even know that. But yeah, stay tuned on this. I'm going to take you guys along with me to get these things resold and redone and all that kind of good stuff. And I'm super excited to have these in my collection. These are, these are definitely a grail for me. And regardless the sole coming off or not, Look how clean they are. Can you see that on camera? Yeah, I posted these on my story the other day in a dark room where you could only see the sole and the Nike check. And a whole bunch of people were like, no way, no way, no way. So yeah, here it is, it's happening. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me to get them resold. I know this is kind of like an underwhelming video, but it is what it is. Hopefully in the next video, we're getting these things done and getting them on feet and wearing them because I'm excited. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next round of t-shirts is already in the works. Trust me, trust me, trust me. It's in the works. I'm working, I'm trying. I don't really know what I'm doing guys I do this stuff pretty much by myself so you're pretty much waiting on me to figure out how to do it type of thing yeah that being said I love you guys so 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 much follow me on Instagram follow me on TikTok follow me on threads that's kind of crazy huh and yeah guys we'll see you guys in the next video peace dude get out of my face <laughs>